going to take this side cover off and look at the stator and the floor wheel. I ain't got a floor wheel puller at the moment, so I've got to wait for that, but for now I'll take this off. You've got five wires on this. And also the neutral switch has got five wires as well, but it must have like a dashboard prindle sort of thing where it tells you what gear it's in. But I don't know that for sure, best to check your wiring diagram. Same with this one. It's got five wires. Let's do a test on this though. So I'm setting it to ohms. Let's check these two end ones first. They look like the pickup coil. So 140 ohms on that. So that's definitely the pickup coil. So if you're having no spark issues, you can check that. That's one of the problems maybe. And these stators, you should be able to get equal readings between all three of these. So I'll get enough in there, but I'll try from the back. Well, 0 0.06 of an ohm. That's really bad. Well, it's low. Nothing there. And nothing there. So... I'm thinking that's probably faulty that stator on that but you best to you check your wiring just to make sure your wiring died on. But anyway, my test sites failed faulty so just gonna whip the side cropper off now. Might be able to test it better when we get it off. Looks like we've got different size bolts. If you get different size bolts, bolts, when you put them in, always put the little ones in first. And then the big ones will obviously be in the empty gaps. And even small one. Okay then. So there's your stator. So it could have a bit of damage on it, but not sure. There's your pickup coil, that's fine. So I'll have a test of that separate. Alright, that's how you remove that. I've got to get a puller for this now. Looks like it's an internal puller. Which I haven't got, so I'll go get one. So there's that neutral, well, your gear selector indicator. Basically, if you pull that off, it's got loads of different connections. And this piece, and obviously when it spins, it makes a circuit and tells you which gear you're in. So that's pretty interesting. Don't have that on many bikes. So that's it for that side now. Just gotta get a flywheel puller. Take that off.